Now your ABC7 first alert weather forecast with meteorologist John Scalzi. 75 degrees the air temperature with a dew point of 72. We have a northeast wind coming in at about 6 and just a few fair weather clouds around. Those fair weather clouds are not rain clouds and will not produce any rain this morning. Temperature 73 in Wachula, 74 in uh, Arcadia, 73 in Mayaka. Parish coming in at 75, so is Bradenton, 77 degrees in Venice. Northport coming in at 75, and so is Punta Gorda. So we have some showers that are still in progress associated with Jose. Those showers producing a few light areas of rainfall and some gusty winds across the most eastern sections of Massachusetts. Otherwise, the extent of coverage has kind of decreased across many areas of New York and Connecticut. So traveling today, that's, that's all right. That shouldn't be a big deal there. Otherwise, we have some showers back to the west, and we have some... Uh, we have some showers also around uh, areas in the uh, Midwest, in the heartland. In fact, Minneapolis-St. Paul could actually see some severe thunderstorms today if you're traveling to that area. Hey, check it out. In the highest elevations of some of the Rockies and Cascades, we may see a little bit of light snowfall. So just a hint that as we head into tomorrow and the first day of fall, some colder air is beginning to amass to the north, and that will eventually work its way here and slice through the humidity, but not today. Today it'll be another warm one. Not much in the way of a rainfall chance this morning, but by later this afternoon, I think we'll see a similar situation to yesterday. Scattered showers around the area, and then a few thunderstorms as well, certainly possible, especially around the mouth of Charlotte Harbor and around uh, Tampa Bay. Otherwise, morning commute, rain-free and fine. There's our bullseye area for potentially strong to severe weather in parts of Minneapolis-St. Paul a little later today. We'll watch the state of Florida Perhaps get some thunderstorms, but nothing in the way of any kind of severe thunderstorms across the region. Just your typical garden variety summer kind of rains and showers and maybe an isolated thunderstorm. Jose continues to move away, having carved a path through the Atlantic that Maria will likely follow for a time anyway. High pressure, the dominant weather feature for us, again brings us this easterly flow. And that helps to bring us those isolated late day showers a sun cloud mix. Here's our future rainfall forecast. It gives you a fairly good idea of what to expect. A few scattered showers around, maybe some of them a little bit stronger, bringing us thunderstorms, and then tomorrow about the same. Three systems we continue to monitor. One yesterday was Lee had about a 60% chance of storms. Now Jose and Maria are no threat to the United States really dying out in the open waters of the Atlantic. Northeast wind brings you a light to moderate chop. And the official Sun Coast forecast calls for better weekend rain chances, followed by a drying next week. Back to you.